Yes, it's amazing. Uh, it's my first victory, of course, and, and uh, after you come home, everything went crazy. So uh, I tried to work the day after, but it's just impossible. Everybody wants to interview and everybody wants to come to celebrate. And so after two weeks, I uh, disappeared to uh, all the country. I went to India for work. That was, that was good because I also wanted to continue work. And uh, it's amazing. It's great. And uh, once uh, you have this. because you already won. For myself it's the pressure is lower because I already won. And I will see uh, next year good. and next year I will be in Dakar as well and uh, try to win again. You will be particularly good? Yes. Uh, and uh, how did the story of your racing uh, become actually? Uh, we did the cross cards um, when I was young. Now first karting of course then cross card then uh, that's 50% of road, 50% uh, gravel uh, or asphalt. Um, then I bought a buggy in 2000 uh, SSV in 2013. It was on this rally. There are now 110 SSVs, can -ams. And But th at that time there were only four. There were only four uh, buggies. So uh, that, that was the start. And this is my ninth uh, Moco Desert Challenge. Ninth or tenth Moco Desert Challenge, yes. Uh, yeah. So that's, that's why. Oh, and, and then I bought in 2015 my own truck. It was a tough. I did two, two, uh, two Moco Desert Challenge. And then uh, I started with Renault from uh, Mario Kess, from MKR. I did this rally uh, t twice. I did uh, Dakar twice, but didn't finish. And then I got to Tim Very nice. Uh, if you compare Mario Desert Challenge, which uh, looks to be quite favorite for you, uh, to Dakar, what would you say? I'd say Dakar is like work and one of the challenges for me more family. Uh, it's more like a holiday and I also treat it as a holiday. So. Uh, in terms of the sport and the In terms result? of uh, this, this, this uh, no, the result, I always want to win of course. But when it's not possible like this year, I pull my engine.